Hey there! Just letting the van warm up this morning so we can get on the road and get to the office today and get some work done. Um, anyway, I want to tell you a story about my dog. And sometimes people don't realize, like, um, you have to teach your dogs things that they may not know. Um, I don't think it's dogs don't swim. I think it's that they haven't really been taught in a secure way. So the first year and a half I had Jin, well, first year, so she would have been a year and a half old because I rescued her from a meth house that they were uh, actually uh, making meth in the house. And it was across the street from um, a yard that I was building a kind of English garden style um, with mostly medicinal herbs and put in a, a pretty large garden bed for them. Um, and I don't know what the status of it is now, but it took me three months um, to build it because um, their yard was a disaster. And there was a lot of old dirt that needed to be moved and, um, you know, stuff like that. So um, anyway, she was living across the street and I didn't really want a dog because I'm kind of on the road. I've been on the road like 10 and a half years now, kind of living out of my car, you know, getting educated, traveling, ceremony, you know, red road, um, farming, yeah, just lots of, lots of different stuff. Sometimes I travel to go work on groups of people, work with groups of people. Anyway, so I don't really want a dog. And a situation finally blew out. And so I was going over to the yard and I was putting water in the bowl and I was putting food. She was pretty much 100% eating garbage. Like the first six months I had her, um, she had like a plastic lining on the inside of her colon that actually would come out with her poop because she had eaten so many baby diapers and garbage because they didn't feed her. So, um, and then they'd let her in at night and then, you know, she was hooked on meth because it was in the environment um, and she was beaten and there's lots of crazy, you know, police activity going on over there and so she made her stressed out and she was just a baby and um and so f one day he she jumped the fence and I remember she's running down the road and a car almost hit her doing 50 and a 25 and I I just stood there and was done I, I just was done because I would have been the only person in the neighborhood that, that was there that would have had to scrape her off the road and she was just so smart. So um, I put her back in the yard. And then when I saw the people, I went over and I gave them $50. They needed drugs. And um, I just told them I could give their dog a really good life and train her. And um, so they let me have her and they took the money. So about a year that I had her, so she would have been a year and a half. I used to take her on all these different trails and in the summertime there's water and she used to look at these black labs she's part lab she used to look at these black labs like flying off into the water like crazy you know getting pine cones and sticks and balls and she just look at them like oh my god they're so crazy but i want to do that i want to do that and she was afraid so finally, one day I got an idea. So two people that I know, also one of the people, she had a dog that didn't know how to swim either, should know, have known how to swim. And we decided to go down this flume trail without the flumes, you know, on the safe side. And we basically floated on light rafts down this flume trail. So we hiked all the way up the trail and then all got in and we laughed. We had so much fun. I mean, we seriously had a lot of fun coming down this flume trail for like an hour and a half. Anyway, the dogs were so excited because they were getting in the water. They were following us. It wasn't deep enough that, you know, they had to stress out or they drowned or fast enough water. And then when we got to the end, my dog knew how to swim. And then I'd take her up to lakes and I'd swim out. And I'd call her from the beach so she could learn how to swim long distance. And then started going to the river where there were lots of rapids. Um, the kayak park 
and I would just throw things in and she would chase them. And so she learned how to deal a little bit more with white water. So it was a progression of training over two years that I taught her how to swim just about every kind of water. Um, and it all started with me floating down a flume trail and her being able to follow. And she's really taught me a lot about um, more than I knew um, that, you know, we're like parents to the dogs. They, um, if they don't have their own mama dogs or, or dogs that are older that they can look up to, to figure out good behavior as well as bad behavior, um, then we have to be that role model. So when people get dogs and their lives are too busy and they have too many things going on, it's not really fair to the dog. Um, and so, you know, important consideration to make. But anyway, um, that's my mama dog story. So we're constantly working on things that when I notice that she doesn't know how to do, um, like right now we're working on her expressing herself in a natural way. So teaching her how to howl and, um, you know, communicate in, um, in kind of different ways. So, um, yeah, it's all good. So anyway, that's, um, your, how to teach your dog how to swim story. <laughs> all right. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.